know someone who wants the National Geographic Channel but does not yet receive it? Have them call toll-free 866-NAT-GEO-TV. Well, it's time now for the sports report. Well, not exactly. We don't really do sports around here, but there was an interesting event this weekend. That's right. At Rutgers University yesterday, Syracuse University won the NCAA Men's Lacrosse Championship, beating Princeton by a single goal, 13 to 12. Real nail biter. Oh, but yeah. lacrosse is truly a Native American game, played long before European settlers even arrived here. Central to this game's history are the Iroquois, a confederacy of six nations, the Mohawk, Oneida, Seneca, Cayuga, Tuscarora and Onondaga and even today the Iroquois take great pride in their lacrosse. It's a cultural tradition that begins with a story. When the game was first uh, going to be played they were looking for the sides and so uh, the animals gathered up and they said well We'll have, uh, we'll have the bear playing, he's big and strong. We'll have the deer, he's fast. And on the other side, the bird says, well, well, we'll have the hawks because they're quick, and the eagle because he's so strong. And then we'll have the, uh, the owls because they're so wise. And there was the bat. He could fly, but he was an animal. So uh, the animals said, well, they said, it really don't fit here. So the bat went over to the birds. He says, I, I, I like the play with you and they said sure come and play with us and so as the game went on and it got fierce and ferocious and the score was tied and for the final goal the winning goal here comes the bat nobody could catch him he just flicked in and out and he might score the goal and of course the moral of the story is you never turn down any player you just don't know what they have and what they can do and, and when and where you know a lesson taken to heart on the Onondaga Reservation in upstate New York. Whether played outdoors or in an arena the size of a hockey rink, nearly everyone here plays lacrosse. It's not just a sport, it's a way of life. It's definitely more than just a game. It's our creator's game and everybody in the community knows that and that's what makes it so special. When I'm on the floor, uh, when I stretch, I give thanks to the Creator that I can be here to play another day, to play another game. My connection with the cross is spiritual, mental, physical. It consumes me. Neil Paulus and Gawa Schindler both play for the Onondaga Red Hawks, but they're also star players for the Iroquois Nationals, the only Native American team of any kind competing on the world stage. Since 1990, the Nationals have played against the United States, Canada, and others in the Lacrosse World Championships, held every four years. There's a lot of pride um, to represent my community, my people. It's a privilege and an honor. A special honor given the origins of this game. Variations of lacrosse were played all over North America, but the Iroquois, or Haudenosaunee as they call themselves, hold a unique position in this sport's evolution. The long stick game, the game that you see around the world, is, is our invention. Oren Lyons is a faith keeper for the Onondaga Council of Chiefs, and he serves on the board of the Iroquois National Lacrosse Program. For the Haudenosaunee, it's like cultural glue. It's every one of our nations play it, all our kids play it. Uh, Grandfathers played it, great-grandfathers, it just goes back and back. I mean, it, it means everything for, to me that the Iroquois developed the game of lacrosse and that I'm playing it now and carrying on that tradition. Our native name for lacrosse is Kachikwa 8, which means to bump hips. So just in the name of the game, you know, the name of the game is to be very physical and very rough, but to be played fair and to be played with a good heart and a good mind. The game is ingrained on the young people here at a very early age. They're taught stick skills, of course, but also the spirit of the game. Chief Irving Paulus, Jr. We have among the Haudenosaunee expression, and that expression is, let us put our minds together as one. All right. That's what lacrosse does. Lacrosse says to a group, Let's put our minds together as one and work together as a unit 
and achieve a goal. The players give their all, the fans get into the game and feel the energy from the players and it, it's just very unifying, it very, um, brings the community together every time there's a game. It's like the hub of the community and it, it's connected to everybody on the nation. It's a center of the community. Alfred Jacques carries on the traditions in his own way. He's one of only a handful of stick makers still making lacrosse sticks the old way, rejecting modern materials and assembly line production. He splits, steams, bends, and carves beams of hickory by hand. I think of this as a craft, a fine woodcraft, a skill that shouldn't be forgotten. It's a connection to stick makers of the past. It's a connection to players from the past. It's a connection to the old ways. Traditions here are so strong, lacrosse remains a vital part of Iroquois culture in every stage of life and beyond. When we play a game here on Mother Earth, a game is taking place up in the land of the Creator at the same time. And then after we pass away and we're through, uh, we have a, a means by which we can get our stick up into the Creator's row, so that after we pass away, we'll play again. To qualify for the World Games, the Iroquois had to develop their own passports, and today, they're just one of two Indian nations that travel using their own documents, not U.S. passports. Mm. Hey, that's our broadcast for tonight. Tomorrow, see the top of Manhattan's art world. I'm Laura Green. And I'm Tom Foreman. See you next time. Bye.